Hello! Today I wanted to showcase a wonderful machine that I found when I was over in America and it's called the Jenny Bell Bath Bomb Press. It's made by Teal Alls House and I have to say I think it's the cheapest bath bomb press that I found and not only is it affordable but it's actually really really good at its function too. So let me just kind of showcase what it is a little bit. You, you have a very sturdy um, base here. This is a kind of plastic base which makes it super easy for cleaning up. I don't like wooden bases because they just attract all of the moisture. And then it has the pressing device here. Nice and simple, easy to use. It comes with a pushing device for removing the bath bomb from the mold. Now this machine is $99 and obviously the pound to the dollar right now is particularly good but for $99 you've got yourself a really good machine because the cheapest other bath bomb press that I found in a manual press is £144 and this not only comes with the press and the pusher but it includes the three piece mould. In the price. Now this alone is about $65 normally so it really is for $99 for the whole setup you've got yourself an absolute bargain. So I thought today I'd quickly show you how it works. So the first thing I need to do is really quickly knock up a batch of bath bomb mix. Now I'm adding half a teaspoon of Orchid Pink Mica and this is one of the Shades of Fabulous collections and I absolutely love it. So first I'm going to mix all of my dry powders and then I'm going to add in my citric acid. I like to get everything kind of mixed together before the citric acid goes in. It gives you a longer working time. Now when I'm making bath bombs I always make sure that I stop my mixer and really get round the sides from time to time because you can get some of your liquid sticking to the side and the bottom and then they don't properly mix. It's really important when you're making bath bombs that everything's really mixed well. And then the final part of my liquids is going in. I want to give this a really good mixing now. So I'm just going to test the mixture. That's going to be absolutely fine. I've used a strawberry fragrance today and this smells just lovely. So you can see this mixture it's just a nice consistency you can use pretty much whatever type of recipe you want but I'm actually following the recipe that comes with the press so first of all let me explain a little bit about the machine itself because I really do like this the machine very very simple it literally just is a manual press going up and down and you have this three part mold. Now at the bottom of the mold, let's take all of the bits out so you can see it. At the bottom of the mold, you've got a little cavity and that's for pushing the bath bomb out at the end. And then you have two half circles, which literally the first one just slots into the bottom all the way. And it goes in really easily. So it's very simple to work. And then the top one goes on after you've filled it with the mixture. So we're just going to loosely fill this with the mixture. And you don't want to cram this full. You literally just want it nice and level with the top. If you start really pushing it in and compacting this, you're going to end up with something that doesn't work very well. You can get splitting. You can get all sorts of problems. And then once that's in you just pop it under here push down give it a nice couple of taps pull it out 
And then we're going to use our unmolder and you need to just gently push. Don't be whacking it because you're going to damage it and even break the mold. So just a gentle push down and you'll see it will just pop out. And then you can take the top off. This is where you can actually clean the satin ring around the edge. You can just run a brush or run your finger around if you want to clean it up. Just gently take the top off. Turn it over into your palm and there you've got one beautiful bath bomb. Now a little tip for you, if you don't have all of the fancy stands or foams or other things for putting your bath bombs on to rest, I just loosely fold a very fluffy towel and then I cover the surface with cling film. And the cling film will stop your bath bombs from sticking to your towel and you can literally just place your bath bombs gently down onto the folded towel and that will cushion them and help you to not get flat or soggy bottoms on your bath bombs. So let's do another one, but this time I'm going to use some sprinkles. And all I have to do is just put some sprinkles into the bottom of my mold. And I start, add in my mix. Remember, I'm not going to compress it. I just want it nice and loose. Just level with the top. Add the top of the mould. Pop it under the press. Give it a quick press. Gently press a couple of times. Take out the mould. Use my pusher. Gently push down. Just gently and slowly. You're not in a race. Clean off the satin ring just tidies up the edge really and then I can just lift the top off turn it over you can give it a tap if you need to and now comes one beautiful bath bomb isn't that gorgeous again pop that onto my towel I have used probably about six different bath bomb presses over the years this is certainly the most affordable by miles that I've used. And I have to say, I've been really, really happy with the results of everything that I've done in it so far. I've not only done bath bombs, I've done some rebatched soap in it, and I've also done some shampoo bars. So a very versatile machine. And although it only comes with the one mold, Teal also has quite a few other designs on her website and I know she's got some gorgeous extra new designs coming out soon. Well, check out her website and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye bye for now.